Hi everyone, thank you for coming to my channel today. This video is a get to know me tag. Um, a couple YouTubers that I watch have done this tag and um, the one girl that I watch and we have a good relationship, um, Carla McKenzie. Hi Carla, well McKenzie, sorry I know you like to be called McKenzie. Um, she told me about this video so I'll link that playlist down below. But um, let's get started. What is your middle name? My middle name is Holly. Number two, share your favorite subject in high school. I didn't really care for high school. I didn't care for school in general. Well, when I was like in elementary, I liked school. But kid doesn't like school elementary. But um, yeah, I preferred to sleep. <laughs> I know it's terrible. But um, yeah, I liked sleep. But I liked like hanging out with my friends at school. Who doesn't? But yeah, I um, I would say if I had to choose a subject, it would be history. History really intrigues me just like about the past and all that stuff it just amazes me and I liked science but when it got to like the math part of science like chemistry and all that stuff I don't like math math is my worst subject I'm terrible at it I math is hurts my brain so yeah I would say history what is your favorite drink if you know me you know coca-cola love coca-cola i know it's bad i need to stop drinking it it's empty calories that you're drinking and but i just love it it's so it's hard not to drink it between the caffeine if you don't drink it the caffeine headaches and yeah if anyone has any tips on how to stop drinking soda without the caffeine headaches leave a comment down below because i get the worst migraines when i don't drink soda um, but I'll, I'll do a Pepsi. I'm not the type of person that is just strictly Coca-Cola or strictly Pepsi. I'll drink both, but no problem. My husband, on the other hand, he will only drink Diet Pepsi. He won't drink a Diet Coke. He, if somewhere is a Coke store, he gets kind of like, ugh, really? They don't have Pepsi? But me, um, yeah, whatever you have, I'll drink. What is your favorite song at the moment? Um, my favorite song at the moment is James Arthur, Say You Won't Let Go. His voice is just, it's different. And it's a very heartfelt song, and it's just, it's adorable. And his voice reminds me a lot of Sam Smith. Which, I miss Sam Smith, by the way. He needs to come out with a new song. Because he was such a good singer. But yeah, James Arthur, Say You Won't Let Go. Um, lost my spot. Oh. What would you or have you named your children? We have one so son so far. Um, his name is Anthony Leonard. He, um, Anthony after my husband and Leonard after my grandfather and my uncle who have passed away. Have you participated in any sports? Um, no. Well, when I was younger, I did cheerleading and like a year of gymnastics, but I didn't do like any sports in high school. I would, didn't really want to stay at school, so doing sports made me have to stay longer at school. But um, I should have done track. I was an excellent runner. Like I, I could run really fast, but I was lazy. But yeah, maybe my son will take after me and have good legs and could run because he should do track. Then my father was an excellent track runner. He was an excellent football player. But me, yeah, I, I didn't like. I didn't like track. Or sports or anything what is your favorite book I I don't read I know I should read since I'm out of school and my brain is not working you should read to keep your brain going but I get bored very bored but my husband bought me um, the chip and Joanna book and I read about a page of that and I'm saving it for when we fly down to Florida next month for our, our, our anniversary so I'm going to save that for the plain red. But, uh, yeah, I I just can't concentrate. Maybe if I had it on, like, my phone, because I'm always on my phone. So maybe if I got a book on my phone, maybe then I would read it. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I don't like to read. What is your favorite color? Um, I guess you would say pink and purple. The typical girly colors. I, um, I like teal. I like browns, like our living room is very brownish, like you see the couch behind me, 
That's where I'm at right now, our living room. The couch is brown. I like earth tones, I guess. I don't know. I'm always back and forth about colors. I don't really have like a favorite, favorite color, like a die hard color. Like that's my color. I just have, I like colors. I'm like, oh, that's pretty, or that's pretty. Yeah, so, yeah. What is your favorite animal? Cats. I love cats. I have two cats of my own. And I like dogs. I like other people's dogs. But I can't have a dog living in our house. They're a lot of work. And as me and my husband, we like to go on random trips. Like one weekend we'll go down to North Carolina or we'll take a weekend trip up to Lake George. And I, if you have a dog, you have to worry about is the hotel animal friendly or is, can someone come to our house and take a dog out to walk them or give them food. And it's, it's a lot. An animal, a dog is like having another child, I guess you would say. And it's a lot of work. Cats, you give them a clean litter box and a big bowl of food and some water, they're good for a week and you don't have to worry about it. Cats are very low maintenance. They do their own thing. They don't have to say, mommy, you let me out. I have to go potty. They just go up to the litter box, do what they got to do, and they're done. Dogs are just, I love dogs. Don't get me wrong. But I can't have them in my house. They're just very needy, very needy animals. Um, what is your favorite perfume? It's by Jessica Simpson. Um, when I went to skincare school uh, for, to be an esthetician, my teacher, Ashley, she wore this perfume and I just loved the smell of it. And I was like, Ashley, what is that perfume that you're wearing? And she said it was by Jessica Simpson, but I can't remember the name. Ashley, if you're watching this, leave it down in the comments on what perfume that was. I have it in my purse. But I'm too lazy to get up and go get it. But um, yeah, it's but Jessica Simpson. Uh, what is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. I know it sounds bad, but it is because of the food, and it's an excuse for you to eat like a pig because everyone else is eating like a pig and they're not going to judge you because it's Thanksgiving. Like all the food that comes with Thanksgiving, like the turkey. The mashed potatoes, the stuffing, the cranberry sauce, the desserts. It's amazing. The gravy. And it's just like, oh, Thanksgiving. And then you have, in the morning, you have the Thanksgiving Day Parade. And then in the afternoon, you have the football game. And it's just, Thanksgiving's just good. It's all, it's about family and be what you're thankful for. And you just reflect on the year, like what you're thankful for that happened. And I just love it. I just love Thanksgiving and what it's about, and it's just, it's a good holiday, it gives you excuse to eat, <laughs> so, yeah, and then my second closest would be probably Christmas, Christmas is cool, especially now that we have a son, Christmas is more, it's starting to become more enjoyable again, because like, yeah, this is, it's fun now, um, on a scale from 1 to 10, rate your childhood, my childhood, um, yeah, I would say my childhood was about a five. I'm leaving that at that. A five. Have you been out of the country? No. I don't even have a passport yet. We were supposed to go to Cancun for our anniversary, but I freaked myself out. Something about leaving the country just makes me nervous. I'm scared I'm gonna get a bug and die. Like I'm gonna eat something that's not good or a meat that has like a parasite in it and it's gonna like go to my brain and kill me and or drink the water and get a bad stomach bug and just die. And it just makes me nervous. I know it sounds crazy because there's beautiful places out there, beautiful beaches and culture and like I wanna experience it. But the more I sit there and think about it freaks me out. I think I've watched that show Monsters Inside Me way too much because people will like go to like a random country and come back and they're like dying and almost with Jesus and all because they ate fruit that was infested with like poop or something. No, I, it doesn't sound good to me. 
I know there's beautiful resorts where are clean and all of this and with my luck I will go swimming in a pond or something or a cool waterfall and swallow water and get like some weird parasite. I don't know. I think too much into things but yeah no I've never been out of the country. <laughs> Do you speak any different languages? I took two years of German in high school. Like, I can still speak a little bit of it. Like, I can count. See my ABCs in it. But I can't, like, really have a conversation with someone in German. But if, um, like, you speak Italian to me, I would understand it, but I can't speak it, if that makes sense. Yeah. It, yeah, I just, I can't fluently speak another language. Um, do you have any siblings? Yes. On my mom's side, I have just me and my sister Amber. She's older than me. We're two and a half years apart, almost three. When I was born, she was two and a half, and then she turned three in July, and I was born in April. And then I have for my dad, I have an older brother. His name is Terrence. He lives in New Jersey, where I live. He actually lives like the next development over from where I live. And my sister Amber lives in Texas. Um, then I have a brother, Craig, who is in Connecticut, where my dad lives. And then I have a sister. She lives in Connecticut, too, with my dad. Um, and then I have a sister who lives in Florida. Um, I lost my spot again. Uh, what is your favorite store? My favorite store. Target? I would say Target. I like Walmart, but Walmart... There's some characters there, especially where I live. A lot of characters there. Target. I like Target. Yeah, because you can get everything in Target. Especially if it's a super Target, where they have food and groceries. You can just do everything there. What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant. I don't know. Um... If anyone's from New Jersey and you go to Atlantic City, you know the Caesars Buffet. I would say the Caesars Buffet is my favorite restaurant. They have everything and it's delicious. It's pricey for a buffet, but it's like delicious food. It's very, very, very good food. And then we'll say secondly, P.F. Chang's. I like P.F. Chang's, they're good. Yeah, so it's Caesar's Buffet and P.F. Chang's. Yeah, 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 that's it. Did you like school? Like I said before, my favorite subjects. I did not like school. Did not. I hated waking up so early. I would wake up so early because I would have to get ready, do my hair, do my makeup. And... Yeah, I just did not like waking up early. Now that I'm a mom, waking up early is just part of my routine. You just you don't get sleep as a parent. But when I was a teenager, I did not want to get up. I did not want to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go to school. No, it just it wasn't for me. Um, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I just did a video about that. I'll link that down below. But I'll give you like a recap. Um, Casey Holmes. She's my favorite. I love Casey. They're, she's very relatable and she's a very down to earth girl. And um, Megan Lee, I like her. She lives in the same area as I do. And then Style Mom XO. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Walk the Line. I love Johnny Cash. I grew up listening to Johnny Cash with my grandfather. Um, I love Johnny Cash, everything about him, and I love the movie. Joaquin Phoenix and Reese Witherspoon did an amazing job, and yeah, I've seen that movie maybe about a, more than a hundred times. I can say every line in that movie, like I know every single line of that movie, and I still can sit there and watch it back to back. <laughs> um, next question, what are some of your favorite TV shows? Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, Grey's Anatomy. That show. 
is I watched it from the beginning and I feel like they're family. Like when Dr. Derek Shepard died, I lost my crap. I sobbed and cried and my husband was like, "Hun, you're crying more than when your uncle passed away. And it's kind of sad, but I wasn't expecting Dr. Shepard to die. My uncle, I knew it was going to happen because he was sick for a while. But like, yeah, I, my husband's like, he's really not dead. I'm like, no, Derek Shepard is dead. His, the real actor, Patrick Dempsey, no, he's not dead. But Derek Shepard is gone. That show just, ugh, just gets you. They know how to make you cry. And then I would say second would be Team Mom OG. I love them. And then Team Mom 2. They're, if I had to choose between two, I'd probably do Team Mom 2 because I love Chelsea. Yeah, she's kind of the only sane one, I would say, one that has her crap together. And yeah. And Macy. I like Macy too. Yeah. The other ones are just a hot mess. Farrah. Psh, girlfriend. She needs to take some chill pills and take it down a notch. She's just very yeah, girl. She needs to. Okay, number twenty-two, PC or Mac? Mac. We are an Apple family. We have a Mac computer. We have iPhones. We have iPads. We have Apple TV. We're some Apple family. What phone do you have? iPhone Seven Plus. And the black matte color. How tall are you? I'm a little shrimp. I'm 4'11". I was 5 feet last year, and then I went to my doctor's, and she was like, oh, you're 4'11". I'm like, how am I shrinking? I'm only 27 years old. But, yep, yeah, I'm shrinking. I'm going to be a little old lady. So, I'm, I'm, I'm tiny. Tiny little girl. If you hear this, my cat's fighting right now. Stop. Stop it. Do you have any pets? Yes. Two cats. The one is, she's 13, she's gray and white, her name is Kitty Cat. And then we have a two year old who is black and white and his name is Moo Moo. And he starts crap as you just heard in the background. You hear him? Moo Moo. Leave your sister alone. Yeah. They're, they're nuts. He gets her going. And he's, I would say terrible twos for a cat. Right? Yes, come here. Want to say hi to camera? Come here. Come here. This is my Momo. Say hi, camera. Say hi, everyone. Say hi. This is Momo. This is my big boy. He's my baby. We got him when we got back from our honeymoon. Right? Right? Yeah. He's my baby. He's bad. He's my baby. But yeah, so that's going to end today's video. Sorry. They are shut in. So that's going to end today's video. Um, thank you so much for watching. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be great. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.